<clears throat> so you x squared plus 2x minus 15. So what I'd like you to do is write this down in your uh, in your in your notes, please. Okay. Negative 17. Why are you why are you telling me that? It's because I just attracted. Uh, what what did I ask you to do? Uh added. No, I asked you to write this down. Okay, yeah, yeah. What? Let me know when you have this written down, okay? Yeah.
Okay, I did. I wrote it down. All right, so I'm going to ask you to do a problem on your own here. X plus six times X minus two. Okay. X squared minus 2X plus 6X minus 12. Just like the last problem, you have to combine the, uh, the O yeah. and the I. I know that. X squared plus 4X minus 12. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, a new type of problem here that you might see is uh, where you have something like 2X plus 1, 3X minus 4, like that. Okay. So the, the difference between this problem and the previous problems is that you're, you're multiplying, you got more to multiply. It's 2X times 3X. Now, 2X times 3X is... 6x squared, okay? 2x times negative 4 is minus 8x. 1 times 3x is plus 3x. 1 times negative 4 is, is negative 4. It's still FOIL. Is that, uh, is that clear? Still yeah. FOIL? Okay. Yeah. And you still can combine the outer and the inner, okay? What is the O and the I? Well, how do you, what does this become? Minus 8x plus, uh, plus 3x.
Uh, plus five X. Try again. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's negative five X. It is negative five X. Why is it negative instead of positive? Because the small, because the small, because the bigger number is at eight, and the smaller number is three. So why is it negative? <sighs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's just, it's just because they're just, uh, they're just in a different order. That's why. Yeah, uh, right. yeah, I just don't even know how to explain it, but it's just how it is. So let me give you one to try here. But before I do that, go ahead and write this example down in your notes and let me know when you've done that, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, there. Write it down? Yeah. Right. Let's try one here. Let's try uh, 3x plus 2 times uh, 4x uh, minus 1.
12x, 12x squared minus 3x plus, mm -hmm, plus um, 8x mm -hmm, minus 3, uh, no, 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 uh, minus th negative 3x. Oh, the, everything but the, the last, you, you've got. Uh, wait, 2x, 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 negative 2x. Nope. Nope, L means the last times the last. Yeah, one negative one times two is negative two. Yes. Okay, now I need to combine the uh, outer and the inner. Okay. Twelve x squared plus five x minus two. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, put a problem on the board here, or a problem on the screen here for you. This is uh, kind of built up to this. Um, what I recommend doing is doing it without the y. So just do it as three x plus two times five x minus six, and see if uh, See if that makes sense. Okay. Mm.
D. Sorry? D. D like dog? Good. Yeah, really good. Okay. Any uh any questions on that? We will, yeah, question. Well, this is going to be very hard for uh, the, what type of, uh, is this, uh, is this the, foil, what is the foil, what is this a lesson called, this lesson foil called? Uh, just, we're just doing SAT prep or multiplying binomials. This is a polynomials? We're multiplying binomials. Hmm. Well, I like why. Why can't algebra? Why is algebra like one of the toughest? Is it like one of the toughest? Is is it only for hard? Uh, is it only for high tech people to be doing that? I mean, most students take algebra in high school. But, uh, only, but but students are not good in algebra. They're not even that good. All right. So you took uh, you took geometry last year. Is that right? Yeah, I'm not good at it. I'm not really good at it. So let's take a look at a geometry problem here. Oh, uh, wait, we're going to do some. Uh, so this is multiplying nomials, right? I mean, that's the SAT questions will, will range uh, different types of questions. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and read this uh, problem out loud for me, please. In quadrilateral ABCD, side AB is parallel to side CD. Sides AD and BC are not parallel. What is the area of the figure to the nearest squares head near? Okay. So what name of, would you give to this shape right here? This is a trapezoid. This is a trapezoid. It's usually better to sort of draw it where the base is on the bottom and the top. What's the length of this base here? Six centimeters. Six centimeters. How about the top base? Two. Two centimeters, good. And then what is the height? of the uh 2.5 centimeters 2.5 yeah good do you remember the area for the trapezoid formula yeah well the area is the outside of them six times two the uh formula for the area is it's one half yeah yeah height, yeah and the then height. you have to divide and then you have to divide by two base one plus base two yeah so what is the height 2.5. What's base one? Base one. Uh -huh. What's the value of base, base one? Base one is two and base two is six. All right. So I want you to calculate the, uh, the area for me, please.
10. It was 10. Very good. All right, let's look at another trapezoid problem. Mm -hmm. Always good to do a row here. All right, so it says the, uh, the perimeter of the trapezoid below is 50. So what does the word perimeter mean in math context? The perimeter of trials may be below 50. What is the what does it mean for the what is the perimeter? Like tell me what that means in your own words. Yeah, the perimeter is the addition of the areas, it's by adding all the areas. Not the areas, sides. Yeah, the sides. Do you know all the sides in this one? Um, the side, yeah, okay, so I do know the side, uh, what the sides equal. I'm asking if you know all four sides of the trapezoid. No, uh, the below one, uh, the trapezoid below is 50. I'm asking if you know all four sides 10, of the trapezoid. 15, and that side right there, I don't even know what that side is over there. So the answer is no, you don't know them all, so... Would you find the missing side for me, please, if they all add up to 50? All four sides added together adds to 50. 10 plus 13 plus 15 plus H adds to 50. 38. So what is the missing side? 38. No, the three sides add up to 38. Yeah. What is the missing or not? And all four of them add up to 50. So what is the missing side? What's the missing number to get to 50? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. The area of a trapezoid is one half times the height times base one plus base two. What is the height in this problem? The height. <clears throat> The height right there is going to be 12. It's A. What is the base one problem? Okay. What is the base one? 10 and 15. 15 plus 10 is 25. And then you have to multiply 25 times 12. And then... What is the uh, final, final answer here? 150. It is 150, good. All right. That will be our last uh, problem for today. Good job on that. Um, let me go ahead and stop the recording.